Hello, this is Cauldron. It's the original, well, Silverlings version of it, the budget release. I bought it a couple of weeks ago because I want to find out if the original, when you load it up, is different to the copied version. Apparently, if you played a copy of this game, it will recognize it was a copy as it was loading and change things for you. It would make it really difficult. Um, so I'm quite curious to see how it changes. We all know this game is bloody murder. <laughs> Apart from the American version, which is bloody easy, would you believe? Anyway, let's stick it in, load it up, and check what the differences are. Uh, by the way, <coughs> where is it? It's only 2600 joystick I'll be using in port 2. Yeah. Yeah, so you know the, the platforms, the way it's so difficult to sort of get the right place to uh, jump. Uh, you feel as though you need a little bit more room on the edge to get the platform you want to jump on. You've tried it as far as you can and it still didn't work. You push it a little bit further and she'll drop off. Does that happen on the original? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Let's try this out. I see the witch come on. Sorry, it probably be a little bit blurry, but it's just a, a little investigation. There we go. Right, Magic 99, as ever. Let's see what happens when one of the bats hits you. Should be taking 11 off. Look at that. So that's the same. It still takes one magic off you for shooting. And I think it goes down as you're traveling as well. So I would say this is the same. The overworld uh, so I'm basically going to try and survive long enough to get a key and get into one of the, the caves so we can check some jumps out yeah that's one going well, that's no different to me at all This, look at that this is <clears throat> not easier at all it's exactly the same as a copied version that I've played I don't emulation but I'm more interested in the jump positions it's a beautiful game it always has been right there's a key there not Look at that. I didn't even do anything, it just. Eh. Well, if you play the American version, it's a lot easier. A lot fairer. You know, she gets on your pretty nose a little bit. Right, we've got the pink key, the purple key. Let's have a look. Okay, we're in the pink room on Colvin, the original. Let's see if the jumps are different. There's one certain jump I want to check out. That's not that one. It is. Uh, 
a little bit further, a little bit further. And get across a little bit more. Now, you see how little of a frog I could get across. It's not the jump I'm after. This one, we can get a frog pretty much well across, I'd say that should be enough. This one again, pretty much, that's as far as I dare go. I want. <clears throat> this is the jump I'm after. This one, not there. This one here. Right. <coughs> Fist. In line. Fist after that is just after she misses. I cannot get a frock across enough. That's the double jump, I can't get over that. Let's try a bit further back. feel any different to emulation or a copied version. How the hell are you supposed to get on there? How far can I get across? That's as far as I dare. I've got to try one more. Now. Right, you've seen the real hardware version and uh, how it played. <clears throat> Jump positions, the overworld. Uh, and I've also tried all the rooms I could get my hands on just to see if there was any difference. Uh, I know it's different to a copied version of Colburn on cassette, but uh, anybody who's got any idea if the emulation versions that you're about to see will be based on 
the original cassette version or a copied cassette version a pirated copy I'd be interested to know this is the rest of the video anyway okay let's go again different ROM right see if I can just jump over this Let's see if I can get this right. I want to just try and get a torch. Well, that should be enough, I hope. And you've got to jump across that and then drop off on that one. Now I can't afford, usually, the original and the first one I used to go a bit further. Uh, should be able to go a little bit further. Right, so that's the same as playing the um, the original. This one's going to be interesting. Ooh, yes, I jumped too early. I'll just get on the edge. Whoa, didn't get much there. Didn't get much there. Is that there? We're back on this. I'll try triple jumping it up. Right, so basically, any time I've done it, the fist, the fist is just over. Two in line. That's just the smallest amount I can, I can get a moved. Right, that fist is just over. That looks exactly like the position. From the uh, first run where I can get it on. No, it's not. That looks just behind the line. No. Fist again is just past the right side of the platform. Let's keep my finger on the button this time. I'm leaving go. Let's see if that makes a difference. I've gone on, but I kept my finger on too long. Push up. You've got to push up. Let's try that again. You've got to push up. 
ماشین بدم Just over, just over. It's not over. All right. So it looks like you've got to <clears throat> catch it, and that's some sort of glitch below the platform that I'm on now. Um, so your fingers kept on the the jump button. And just catch something in the middle of the rock and jump up. Another ROM, and this ROM is being a bit crazy on the overworld. The seagulls were kamikazing into the sea, uh, killing themselves rather than approach me. Uh, when you shot a, one of your sparkles, the sound of the sparkle just kept on going on and on and on. You couldn't turn around at anything for about three to four seconds. So, this is definitely not... Uh, <laughs> Accurate. Let's see if the jumps are. Whoa, I was right across there as well. That is you, that is been enough. So let's see if it makes it this time. Very strange. Pretty much dead on on it. That's over. Yep, another ROM, same as the original. James original. That's all the rooms I've got. Uh, so, so far, playing the original on original cassette on original hardware uh, is exactly the same as playing all the emulated ROMs that I've got. Does that mean it's so accurate to the original cassette, all these ROMs, apart from this one on the overworld? Or um, 
does it mean something else? I don't know. The only thing I've got left to try is to uh, get me Commodore 64 out again and get me hands on me copy of Cauldron and see if that's any different when I load it up and I play it. But so far, all the ROMs play exactly the same as the original cassette on original hardware. This means, so far, if you're ever going to try and complete Cauldron and you haven't got the original, I would say you've got a good chance of getting an accurate completion using emulation. Okay, that's a little experiment done. Um, I've just chose this this cave just to get a feel of uh, the jump so you can get used to how far you can get the the uh, which is flop across past the uh, platform and which you can spare over. Uh, and also, I've got to say, every overworld has been exactly the same as the original. Anyway, just a little video trying to find out. Cheers.